Well, good morning, everybody. This is E-Chip with Contentment Channel. <clears throat> kind of a cool morning. Outside temperature is 35. It's 71 in here because I've been running that camp stove a little bit. <laughs> but um, normally the temperature here in the house stays about, I don't know, 20 to 30 degrees different from the outside temperature. Let's go check the cold frame while this is brewing and see how that's going. Okay. So we got a little condensate on the inside of the cold frame. That's a good sign. And the temperature in here is, oh, it's about 35. <laughs> when the cold frame temperature is the same as the outdoor temperature, 35, 36, makes you wonder. We'll see how it progresses throughout the day. There it is, a meal fit for a homesteader. Tell you, this may not look all that appetizing to you, but it's delicious. Farm fresh eggs, blood oranges, and bacon for breakfast. It's going to be a great day. It's too bad that the camera doesn't do them justice because, you know, to my eyes, they are much, much closer. Um, at least, uh, at least half the distance closer to my eyes. But those mountains off there in the distance to the center left, those mountains are 60 miles away from contentment. And, uh, yeah, that's the thing about living in the <clears throat> Intermountain West. You can see for a far, far distance. Um, it's really kind of cool. You can see mountains that are hundreds of miles away. The ones in the far left uh, of the screen are over 100 miles away. And uh, just uh, just goes to show you what you can catch on a good, clear day. Um, the big mountain over here, covered by clouds on the right, that's the one we just affectionately call mountain. That one is much, much closer to us. That's only about 20 miles away as the crow flies. Well, now that breakfast is over, I can get in front of the camera a little bit. Hi, everybody. It's Echip out of contentment. For those of you who may be visiting our channel for the first time, we are a 50-something couple uh, who has decided we've had enough of the city life and the rat race and all the expense that goes with it. And so uh, we are transitioning our life to off-grid homesteading out in the Intermountain West. And uh, you are viewing me right now in what we call our shouse, which is uh, 384 square feet of luxury. Um, it's actually a a, you know, basically a shed that we built ourselves uh, by hand, and we didn't even have to, we didn't even have air tools. We just swung a hammer, and um, and so we are gradually outfitting this to become a temporary living place until such time as we can build our off-grid straw bale and adobe home right over here next to the house. So that's what we're about. By the way, I'm sorry. Forgive my appearance this morning. I, I just washed my hair and I can't do a thing with it. But I thought I would talk for a minute about, uh, you know, what our plans are. Robert's not here today. She's back at the duplex in the central U.S. gathering up some more things to bring here, which leads me to the purpose of this video. Uh, as you see, may have seen in prior videos, the inside of this house is a disorganized mess, and we don't like it that way. And in fact, it's too hard to move around in it as small as it is with it being a disorganized mess. So a couple of weeks ago, we quickly built these shelves out of scrap wood and old bifold, bifold closet doors that we found at a, at a, um, um, like a reclaimed uh, building materials place. And so we quickly built those shelves, put our canned goods and things like that on. But we have two shelf units coming to go on that wall. And so I need to move those shelves over there by the bed. The bed we have is just an air mattress. And so there's a bed coming late next week as well. Um, we're bringing our, our regular bed out and then we'll deflate that, you know, that mattress and get it out of the way. But uh, yeah, so we've really got to organize this place. 384 square feet is not a lot of space, folks. We had about a oh, little less than 1,100 square feet at our duplex. Of course, a lot of things from the duplex are going in storage temporarily until the house is built 
and so space is important to us here. But I mean, right now, it's just a mess because we've got tools, equipment for construction, everything piled in here, as well as our, you know, the things we need to live. So anyway, that's what's going on with us. Um, I guess I'll just set up the camera, and uh, you can watch me move shelves if you want to. <laughs> but if you like what you see here, we have a whole variety of things that we do uh, on our channel. If you like what you see here, please uh, like subscribe click that bell for notifications and we would very much appreciate it thank you Okay, and there it is. I know the uh, top shelf looks kind of bowed. That's because the plywood's bowed. Uh, it's just an old scrap piece of plywood, but uh, it's level. So, and that's how you put up a, uh, an 80 inch wide shelf by yourself. All right, so I told Robert that I would run uh, a shelf as far as I could from over here above that bathroom door and probably have to stop it right here because we're gonna put a television set up there that swivels around and shelf would be in the way. Before I can do that, I need to put some trim on this bathroom door. <laughs> So one other thing that has to happen <clears throat> besides the shelf and besides the door trim is right up there where you see those exposed joists over the bathroom, uh, I've got to finish that out. I'm just going to take a piece of uh, one by four, or one by three and a half and hope it covers that and just set it up there. It'll be a nice little piece of trim up there and it'll return over here on the other wall as well just to finish that out and uh, a little more privacy in the bathroom. And that's a better setup. It gives us a hanging bar for clothes and doesn't cover this door. Now we have better access up to the loft. My job is to go out and check the temperature of the soil in the, um, whatever that thing's called, cold frame. Okay, so here's our indoor-outdoor thermometer, same inside and temperature at 75 inside and 75 outside. So the good thing about where contentment is, is 75 degrees doesn't really feel like 75 degrees fortunately um so what we've noticed during the daytime is that the temperature in the house does warm up to pretty much what the temperature is outside which is okay because there's always a breeze we've got the two windows up there to make the cross breeze and stuff so despite the temperature being a little warm it really doesn't feel like 75 it's pretty cool outside um, it's kind of overcast right now so I wanted to figure out what the temperature of the soil is I haven't planted anything yet um, because it still as of like two or three days ago it was still pretty cold at night down into like 28 so um, we've just warmed up to where it's staying above freezing consistently so now I'm going to plant my stuff. When you open this, it's really, really warm. You can feel a lot of heat coming out of this cold frame. So I'm going to stick this meat thermometer in. So I just barely have it in the ground. So it's 110. So closer up to the top, it's much, much warmer. Um, at one time, when I first came out and checked it, and then he chipped told me to come film it, um, 
It was 130 degrees and as I put the thermometer in farther into the soil, the temperature went down. Um, uh, at one part it was about 100 degrees, so it's really, really hot in here. So my plan now is to plant, probably need to leave this open, um, let it cool down a little bit because the soil is too uh, hot and start getting some things planted. Oh, 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 oh,